What's going on everyone? It's Jamie here from Shopify Masterclass. And today we're gonna to talk about how much money is your Shopify store making? And that's always an important question for any Shopify merchant, as it's so easy to get caught up in the hype of your sales to see how much you're selling, but you really wanna know how much you're making in profit because at the end of the day, that's how much money you're gonna be taking home. So it's vital you know how much that is as many Shopify owners will scale their ads, scale their business, but they'll actually be unprofitable once they take in all their expenses such as cost of goods sold, transaction fees, monthly expenses, ad expenses, and that's not a good feeling as your bank balance is actually gonna go down because of that. So in today's video, we're gonna cover the easy way and the hard way so you can calculate how much your store is making so you're not burning through cash. So first off, let's talk about the easy way and that's gonna be use Profit Calc for your Shopify store. It allows you to understand your profit, grow your business all in just one click allowing you to skip the spreadsheets and get automatic calculations with detailed profit analysis. So you can make better decisions and scale your Shopify store comfortably. It's got a 4.9 star rating. And if we go to the Shopify app listing here, we can get some screenshots on how it looks. It's gonna be a really clean dashboard, giving you all the important metrics you need, syncing with your favorite ad platforms, including AliExpress and CJ Dropshipping, allowing you to set your cost of goods sold and it's mobile optimized so you can view your profits on the go. So overall, that's gonna be easy way there. It's got a 15 day free trial. And after, so if you're interested in saving time and understanding how your business is doing in real time, check out ProfitCalc. There's gonna be a link in the description as well to the app. And you can test drive everything with that 15 day free trial. Now let's go to the hard way. That's gonna be using a spreadsheet, still very effective. It's just gonna be a little more time consuming as you're gonna to wanna to enter things on a day to day basis. So overall, we have a free template here. There's gonna be a link in the description for that as well. And it's gonna be set up so you have your master sheet here so you can see how you're doing on a month to month basis. There's gonna be your day to day expenses as well. On a day to day basis, you're gonna log into your certain accounts, pull your expenses, throw them in here and it's gonna automatically calculate your profit using a formula based on the above. And so it's gonna do that month by month as well. And so you can go through on a day by day basis as you really need to make sure you're doing that. Cause it's so easy to get caught up in the hype of your sales. You really wanna make sure that you're making money as that's what you're trying to do with the Shopify store and maybe fun and exciting and all. But at the end of the day, you're trying to grow a profit here and e-commerce margins can be quite slim. So you really wanna make sure you're calculating your expenses correctly. So on a day to day, let's go through the lines one by one and talk about where you can get those from. The first is gonna be your Shopify sales. This one is really easy. It's just gonna come from your Shopify analytics. And so typically the day after is the best as all your expenses are gonna be done for the day because during the day they're gonna accumulate. So you wanna make sure you're doing it the day ahead. So let's say this is January 1st here. And now January 2nd, I'm gonna go into my Shopify store. <laughs> So if you're in your Shopify store, you can go to analytics. You can see the total sales as well. You can also go to your reports and that's gonna give you your refunds as well. So you maybe can click into sales over time. Now this is a testing store here, so it's not gonna have it. We can grab the either net sales, that's gonna be net returns. You can grab the shipping to separate as well. There's also the total sales column. And you're simply gonna get that for the day by selecting which day here. So let's say it's just July 1st. If we wanna go back, we can go to January 1st as well. So just hit that apply, grab that amount, and then we're gonna go back to our profit and loss template here, enter that amount in. So let's say it's $100 or $1,000. And we're just going to go through that there. So that's one of the easier ones to get. So the next one is gonna be your cost of goods sold. So what you wanna do is you're gonna to go to each of your line items here, find the product, and then you're gonna have a list somewhere, depending on how your store is set up, you could have a list of all your items, how much they cost. You can additionally have a provider such as AliExpress. You wanna pull out all your orders, total them there, add them to the total here. Let's say I spent $540. The next one is gonna be refunds. Again, you can pull that from Shopify. Then you wanna add the refunded cost of goods sold as well. So if you get an item that's returned and you can ship that out again, you wanna decrease your cost of goods total as you can then ship out that item. So that is depending on your store and how it is set up. Some stores just don't have this calculation at all as they just count the goods as disposed of. So the next one is gonna be your ad spend. It's gonna be a significant cost from you. Again, you're just gonna go into that ad spend. You're gonna log in, grab the total. Let's say I spent $50 here. Overall, you're just gonna update that along the way for each of your ad platforms. If you have any other ad platforms you wanna add in, you can simply make a copy of this spreadsheet and you can hit here and insert a row above and then start entering in the totals as well. So next is gonna be transaction fees. This is one that is easy to miss. It's gonna depend on your store plan. So if a merchant checks out, sorry, not a merchant, a customer checks out through Shopify using the Shopify gateway, it could be 2.9% plus 30 cents a transaction. 
if they use PayPal to check out. PayPal has their own fees. It's typically around the same. And then there's also going to be an external gateway fee for Shopify. So make sure you include that there. You can also log into like PayPal, for example, and see how much was charged per transaction. Stripe is going to be the same as PayPal. So these are three standard gateways a lot of stores have. And if you have any more, you just want to hit the insert row above. Next is going to be your monthly expense. So you can prorate these on a daily basis. So you can say Shopify fees, maybe it's $30 a month here. So you simply won't just want to do 30 divided by the number of days in the month. And that's going to be your daily monthly expense. Shopify apps, the same expense here. Once you have that, it's going to total your revenue minus cost. You're going to add different extra expenses. Maybe you spent $15 a day on VA expenses or something like that. You can also add notes here as to what those expenses are, or you can simply just add different line items and that's going to be your net profit. Sorry, that was a little detailed and a little time consuming as accounting is and profit calculations are but they are really important to see how much money you're making. And so you can do that simply just every day throughout the month here. You can get your totals. Then once that's there, you can head over to your overall. And so these amounts here, so you can enter your totals on the overall page and that's going to give you your monthly net profit. And for each year, you want to have a different spreadsheet as well to separate that. So you can say company name, maybe it's Shopify masterclass and the year is 2022 at the time of recording. Overall, in a nutshell, this is how you calculate your profit for Shopify. It's really just making sure you gather all your revenue, you can gather all your cost of goods sold, making sure to account for refunds. You're going to gather all your ad expenses, your transaction fees, your monthly fees, and any extra expenses. It's really just a time consuming process. You're just kind of picking up information from different platforms and accounts along the way and making sure you're plugging it in at the corresponding date. Overall, not a super complex process, but one that is time consuming. And so if you just want to skip all that, there's apps such as Profit Calc. We're just going to do it all for you and display it in a really nice and easy to understand dashboard. So overall, this concludes the video on how to know how much money your Shopify store is making or how much profit you guys are making. Again, there are links in the description for Profit Calc with a 15 day free trial. There's also going to be a link to the spreadsheet that we use in this video. So you can download for free yourself so you can start recording your expenses and your revenue. If you enjoyed this video, I would love it if you hit that like and subscribe button below. If you have any questions, just leave a comment. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in our next video.